is we can have Gwen talk to you one-on-one -on -one because this sounds personal and we, we don't want to put all your business out there. So let's but, do that one-on-one hey, -on -one after but, the program, but I do okay? Want to say, but I do want to say that um, we do have some people here today in the back in a table um, with some information that, that's called Know Your Options. And so we can, we, the team can talk with you about your issue, but also I encourage anybody who has a relative or themselves needs to get information about the options for working through any financial issues with your mortgage, please stop at that table and pick up that information and have a chat with our people. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Because that can get real complex and complicated. Last question over here. Um, hi, my name is Sabria, and this question is for Lettucey, and I want to know, how do you keep such a positive message in a kind of negative music industry? Uh, that's a great question. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, every day on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, someone has something negative to say every single day, and um, I, out of probably five out of 1,500 people, <laughs> I just stay positive because one, my mom said every time she would speak to me, and I always go back to my mom, that's my hero, I love her, um, because she's a woman, and it's always been a woman to lift me. Uh, Michelle Obama told me, you're one of our favorite singers. Uh, really? You know, so I have those moments where I met, I have a Nita Baker or somebody I admire that I love reminding me, don't forget your greatness. Mm -hmm. Don't forget you have to lift and you inspire me. Even when I want to give up, I play a song and you lift me. And I put all these positive things in because there's so much negative. Why not talk about the positive and make it look good? You know, wiggle here and then they go, I like that. <laughs> But they don't know one love song, I'm really talking about God. They didn't know that. I, don't, I can sneak it in and still get away with it. You know, and um, I, love, I love what I do. I love, my, I, I ha, I'm so blessed to have a gift given to me and I'm gonna use it and guard it and to lift you and make you smile and do things that people never thought I would do. They always tell me, you can't do that. And I go, really? and then I go ahead and leap. I'm scared to death all the time. I'm always scared, but I know I love God. I know he wouldn't put me in this position to do wrong, so I'm gonna do right and go ahead and leap. You must have faith and leap out. You must. Believe in yourself, and then sometime they'll even be your, your family members that tell you you can't. They'll tell you, you can't do that, I still leap. The record industry told me you're not pretty enough, you're too different, you're not a size two, you'll never make it. You have a great voice, but we don't know what to do with you. And I said, okay, well, I'll just keep plugging along. I, I remember calling my mom, mom, I quit, I can't do this anymore. They said, I'm not good enough. And she said, you're gonna be all right, baby, you're gonna be all right. I said, dang, mama, that sound like a song. And, and I, I wrote the, the first song was my song, All Right. And I ended up getting nominated for Best New Artist when I've been out for 12 years. <laughs> so it's moments like that yeah. that keep me positive and keep me going upward. Even when people say, what's she doing? What's wrong with her? She changing. Yeah, I'm changing. I'm gonna always change. The door that you open to go get your blessing, you have to go through the fear first and then you leap. And so, here I am. Excellent. That's gonna help a lot of people outside the music industry, that message right there. We wanna just start closing things down with some final thoughts from our fantastic panel here today. Gwen, we wanna start with you. Because there's this term called the urgency of now. We cannot wait for the schools to be perfect and for our children to have this perfect situation. We still have to find a way to get our kids to learn, whether it's in school, out of school, we've got to make it happen. Thank you, Gwen, for being here. Uh, and, and give us your final thoughts on that. This is Gwen Muse Evans, everyone. Remember her name.
Thank you. Um, so, so just to, to keep it brief, you know, the, the, I think you've heard it already, and, and the one thing that I would um, offer as final remarks is, is around goals, you know, and, and um, if you can dream it, believe it, you can achieve it. And so just, you know, everybody needs to, you know, we all have, um, we're created for a purpose and we have special gifts, each and every one of us. And so we need to be about it, uh, about operating in our gifts and moving toward the purpose that God has for our lives. And do that through setting the vision for yourself and just moving forward to the goals. And we've heard about um, how it's easy to get distracted. Um, we have to be careful of who we surround ourselves with to make sure that we have a good network and we have people who will support us as we have those setbacks. But the key is just to keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. The other thing I want to offer is the just attitude because, you know, sometimes we can be discouraged about um, looking at what others have and it seems like it's just taking too long to get to what we're looking for or to get to what our goal is. But the reality is that we are all incredibly blessed and each and every one of us has something that somebody else would like. There's somebody else who would like to be in your shoes. So if you look in the mirror and you get a little concerned about the gray hair, think about the people who are on chemo treatment and have no hair and wish they had hair. Go ahead now. You know, your car breaks down and you have to walk up the street. Think about the people who have no legs who can't walk, you know. You're mad at your boss because your boss is mean. Thank God you have a job. Yeah. Your, your spouse is getting on your nerves, you know, your husband is acting up, your wife's acting up. There's so many people who are praying for a spouse. So, so be glad for what we have, be grateful, but also stay focused on our goals and just keep moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. And, and as Gwen told the young lady before, some of our uh, panelists will have uh, book signing and there are materials out in the hallway. That is something you can look forward to at the very end. Hezekiah. Hezekiah Griggs the third, everyone. Again, thank you for having me. Uh, what I've learned in my life, relatively short, no doubt, is that life is a beautiful struggle. And you don't learn anything in life if you do not go through a struggle. And so I'm thankful for the struggle. And I encourage all of you to embrace your own struggles and your own truths. I traveled, uh, I left uh, my campground this morning at 2 a.m. and drove from the middle of nowhere, North Carolina, to, to here this morning because I wanted to be a part of a conversation that encouraged us to realize not only the dream within us, but lead with our own dreams. I came with a traveling party from young people, with young people from across the country who are with us, and I want to thank them for waking up that early and doing that long drive with me. <clears throat> I encourage you to Google me and learn about my youth programs. I run scholarship programs all year round. I encourage all of the young people to uh, go to my website and apply for the scholarship programs, get involved in my camps and my youth programs. I think we have some wristbands that they're selling from the uh, youth program at the table. Uh, Henry Thoreau once said, if a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears the beat of a different drummer. Let him step to the music in which he hears, however measured, no matter how far away. In a world that provides so many challenges and obstacles, today we're here this afternoon to honor the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the pastor, the leader, the visionary. And I tell people all over the world, you can do a lot of things to me. You can uh, take away all of the things I have. Take my title, my money, my rewards. Take everything because all of that means nothing. I just want my name. And my name is going to be character, integrity. It's going to be filled with some righteousness and holiness. And the question for you today is what will your name mean? Danella Seelock, I'll see her tomorrow morning at work. We want to hear final thoughts, and we got to get her out of here because she adheres to a strict bedtime, <laughs> 5 p.m. or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry to out you, but yes. <laughs> um, you know, 
I want to talk to those of you that have a life full of challenges that no one really knows your personal struggles. But when you lay down at night, you think about all the reasons of why you cannot make it. And what I want to encourage you to do is know that God has given you on the day you were born what you need to change your life and create the life that you want. And I encourage all of the people that have been victims at some point of their life, I identify and understand you and I want you to know that that can shape your life but it does not have to define your life. Mm -hmm. And so for those of you who may not relate to that, and your life is at a good place, you have a good family, you have a good spouse, and your children are great on the right track, I encourage you to look outside of your house and your family and find at least one person to help. Yeah. The grocery store, the bus stop, the gas station, if you can make one person's day a little better, then you have done your job on earth because we are here to help one, each other, one another and be here for one another. Thank you, Danella. Mr. Derek Anderson. Love, forgiveness, and your grace of character. Uh, forgiving my parents after not being with me for 20 years, no hatred, no anything. Met my father 10 months after I met him, he passed with cancer. Got my mother back in my life, greatest woman I've ever met for forgiveness. And the thing about life is, a friend told me a story is, young man was getting bullied on all his life. Football star player came up, said, helped him out. They walk home, they become best friends for 20 years. They have a ceremonial speech. The kid comes up and tells the man, he said, I want to thank my best friend in my life. And he was like, oh, never mind. But the guy says, the day I met you was the day I was going home to kill myself. But because he spoke to him, he transformed his life, and not only his life, but thousands of others, because he became a doctor and skin was a heart, page, heart surgeon. So that one impact changed that young man's life forever. Remember what you do when you leave here. Don't just listen to us now. Take this with you. Understand what your words mean are powerful, and it can help someone else. And everything that ever bad happened to me was my fault. Everything good happened to me was because of God. God bless you guys. Miss Gabrielle Williams. So a lot of people know that MLK, MLK Day is really f to focus on, en on um, education, but also it's about serving. Because um, we know that MLK is a, is a server, and he helped and he served so many, so many people to get where we are today. So um, I remember when I was in school and I was in AVID class, we had to create posters and we were creating all different kinds of stories and we would go and there was a thing where we had to go out on MLK Day, we helped out other people, there was projects that you could do, go clean up the area and go to hospitals and things like that to help out other people. And I just feel that that's important to stress along with education, being able to, to serve and a lot of people say, don't be a leader. Um, I mean, don't be a follower, be a leader. But it's kind of hard to be a leader if you haven't actually seen somebody lead. You don't really, if you don't know what it is to lead. So first, you've got to follow to see what are they doing? What do I need to do to become and to be in that position? So it's important to serve. It's important to help, to give, and it's just, and when you're helping other people, other kids, uh, I like to say, don't tell them, talk to them. Because they won't listen if you, don't, if you just tell them. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Thank you, Gabrielle. Let us see. I feel like going on. I feel like going on Though trials come On every hand I Going on 
I just can't give up now. Woo! I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. Oh, I know. Y'all, whatever. <laughs> He brought me, he didn't, he didn't do what? He ain't never gonna leave me. You must have faith, ladies and gentlemen, have faith. I didn't get here just by the voice alone. The character, giving back, being of service, and listening to my parents, good or bad. Find the good in everything, every single day. Wake up and say, oh! <laughs> I get to try this again. Let me try this again. And find the good in every day. Don't judge people. That's what they are. You be the example of what you hope they would be. And you walk in your journey. Your journey is different from mine. I can't walk with the, their journey. I have my own. And we always judge others. Hey, they might need your help. You never know who they are, what they could be. It happens every day I'm on the plane, I meet somebody and I go, wow. And that one relationship from meeting that one person, taking time to talk to them, saved my life later on. You never ever know. So every day find the good in everything and, and use your gift, whatever your purpose in life, use it to lift others. That's service. Yeah. I'm done. What a way to end this discussion. Let's thank our wonderful panel. Let's give it up for our panel. Remembering Dr. King's dream for education. Wonderful, wonderful conversation. It doesn't end with the end of this program, we have to continue to talk about it and do the good work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for allowing WHUR inside this fantastic house of worship. And I wanna bring up the pastor, the great leader of this church, a man dedicated to this community, my pastor, Pastor Jenkins. I want to take a moment and thank WH, WHUR 96.3 on your radio dial. Thank you, Patrick Ellis. Thank you, Molette. Thank you, Renee Nash, who is the Director of News and Public Affairs. Uh, thank you so very much. I want to thank uh, all of those who've come. Jackie Gales, Reverend Esther Gordon, Director of our Christian Education and Training Department. I want to thank this panel. I think the panel is absolutely fabulous. The things you have said today have planted seeds both in children and in parents. And what I get from all of you today that is very significant is that no matter where a person is in life, no matter how horrible those circumstances might be, they can overcome and be what God wants to do. I want to encourage you to stop by the bookstore, and this is something I would encourage you to buy the DVD or the CD and look at it over and over again. This is inspirational. Uh, I gave all my money up in church today, so I was wondering if Gabrielle could loan me a few dollars. I know she, I just happen to know she got some cash. Can y'all sit down for a minute? Because I want to see, who, are your parents here? Yes. I want to see who your parents are. Who, who is Gabrielle's parents? Y'all stand up. I just want to. I want to take my hand and her siblings. Y'all stand up. I, I'm so proud of you for what you've done. Yeah, I just wanted everybody to see. I wanted to see who you were because you've done a. She's beyond her age in, in what she's done, and we too can raise our kids to do the same. Amen. Amen. All right. Is that it?
Thank y'all for coming. Hey, thank y'all for taking out the time and being here today and not just making this a regular day off. Have a great day. Be blessed.